Now in this video we're going to look at short division. I'm going to look at a few examples just so you can see how it works. We're going to start off with um, something nice and straightforward. So something like uh, 864 divided by 2. Something really easy. Okay. You could do this one in your head. Working from the left to the right, 2's into 8 go 4. Okay, so 4 2's go into 8. 2's into 6 go 3. And 2's into 4 go 2. So the answer is 4, 3, 2. Nice and quick. If you had 964 divided by 2, okay, so I've just changed it from 864 to 964, we now have 2's into 9, still go 4, but we have one remainder. So now we're looking at 2's into 16, which go 8, and 2's into 4 go 2. Okay, so we have 4, 8, 2 this time. Then let's have a go at um, something like 1, 2, 9 divided by 3. 3's into 1, I can't do, okay? So, 0, 3's go into 1, remainder 1. 3's into 12, go 4, and 3's into 9, go 3. So, the answer's 43. Um, let's do 6, uh, 1, 5, 3, 7, 2, um, 8, 1. So, 6, 1, 7, 12, 15, 22, 24, 32, 33. Yes, okay. So you may be thinking, why in God have I just wrote down such a large number to try as just my fourth example? The thing is, you can get very good at this very quickly, okay? Just with a little bit of practice, and it's all coming down to your times table skills. So follow this closely. Threes into six go twice. Threes into one go zero times, so remainder one. Threes into fifteen go five. Threes into three go once. 3's into 7 go twice with one left over. 3's into 12 go four times. 3's into 8 go twice with two left over. 3's into 21 go seven. And so the answer is this horrible looking thing, 20512427. If you followed that and that made sense, excellent. So what I suggest now, is you look and at this one um, right you look at this one you write it down copy it down pause the video and have a go okay so pause it, now I'm going to go through it. Threes into five go once with two left over. Threes into 22 go seven with one left over. Threes into 11 go three with two left over. Threes into 29 go nine with two left over. Threes into 23 go seven with two left over. 3's into 26 go 8 with 2 left over. 3's into 24 go 8 with 0 left over. 3's into 2 go 0 with 2 left over. 3's into 25 go 8 with 1 left over. 3's into 11 go 3 with 2 left over. 3's into 27 go 9. Uh, Oh, goodness me. Right, 7, 8, 17. 
20, 26, 30, 32, 37, 38, 45, 47. I've picked a number that it doesn't go in cleanly, so I'm going to cheat. Right, so if you got to that point and you paused, okay, then you might have hit a snag here. Three is going into two, so I'm going to change the question slightly. I'm just going to put a one on the end, and now it works nicely. Threes to two, I can't do. Carry the two. Threes into 21 go seven. Okay? Apologies for that, but that is the answer that you would get. Okay? So, short division is something you can pick up very quickly, but does rely on your tables, your times tables being good. Okay? So, make sure that you put lots of practice into that, which then will benefit your long multiplication, your short division, it'll benefit your fractions, your percentages, and will give you the real base that you need going into those exams.